Hi, I'm Gene, and welcome to Assess Minutes, where we take a complex assessment topic and break it down to make it easily understandable, because minutes matter. Conversations around learning progressions within education are still relatively new, but we've always known that learning is about progressions, steps of increasing sophistication as we learn about a particular subject area or domain. So in that sense, learning progressions attempt to lay out in words and or images what it means to move from a novice level of understanding all the way through the steps to an expert level of understanding. At Renaissance, we've been working with learning progressions for well over a decade. In fact, we built no less than 107 different learning progressions, tailoring them and designing them for each state, country, or locality in which we work. What happens is our content experts begin with the list of standards from the particular school system, district, or country that we're working with. They then take those standards and break them down into discrete, teachable skills. And working in consultation with some of the leading authorities in the country on content, we seek to lay out those skills in the most ideally teachable order. Now, learning progressions can be rather large and rather complex, but the image that you see here does a really good job at capturing the overall concept. We see an example here from mathematics. With the different domains throughout each grade, we see how the domains build, uh, in some cases are larger in one domain, smaller in another, and the connections in between them. And these connections are very interesting and very informative. For example, we see an expansion here, zoning in on the fact that around third grade, students learn some concepts, for example, in the numbers and operations domain, how to multiply, and based on what they learn in the multiple, or what they learn in the numbers and operations domain, it then impacts what they're able to do in geometry. Because once you learn to multiply, you're then able to think about area as a new geometrical concept, and that's part of the progression. The result of all this work is assessments and practice products that are not merely aligned to your standards, but custom tailored and built for them and based on the best thinking around assessment currently.